We are here on our Sorted Row Show at Assen University, the second biggest city in the UK. It is, in Birmingham here, and yeah. we're joined by Catherine. Now, you're a final year student, yes? Yeah. yeah. So, I'm guessing time is a little bit yeah. tight. Got an SAT tomorrow? Yeah. Well, in that case, you want a really simple, yeah. quick food, okay? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a surf and turf couscous, start to finish, fresh ingredients, and it's not going to take any longer than five or ten minutes. All right? Yeah. Awesome. So, have you used chorizo before? Yeah. Cool. Uh, chorizo is a, as you know, it's, it's kind of a Spanish sausage, seasoned with. This is the turf, yeah. This is the yeah, absolutely. So surf and turf, mm -hmm. meat and fish. It's the balance of the okay. two. What I'm going to do is if you can just take these and just cut them up into little pieces. What with a giant knife? With a giant knife. If you're happy with the giant can knife. I, can I try a bit? You like chorizo? There we go. You can eat it raw. Oh, it is already cooked. It's cured. Okay. So a little bit of oil. I'm just using a rapeseed oil here. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> That's going to go into our pan. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll get that nice and hot, and you'll get loads of oils and flavour coming out of that chorizo. And then we can move on to our couscous. Do you like couscous? Or? Yeah, like couscous. Now also. couscous cool. is quite, it's quite a bland thing, isn't it? I mean, what, do yeah. you norm, what do you normally put with couscous? Well, I normally get the Ainsley Harriet one from Sainsbury's. Oh, the ready-made. The <laughs> well, this is the much cheaper, all right? There's a whole kilo mm -hmm. of couscous for like about a pound, and we're only going to need that much, just a handful. Doesn't look like a lot. And then you put the same amount of liquid in. So whatever cool. volume of couscous you put in, the same amount of boiling water. Okay, so that's going to go in there. It should be just enough to kind of cover it. So this recipe is all about speed, yeah? Yeah. Because, so I mean, pasta, I mean, look, students tend to resort to things like pasta, yeah. rice, Literally, potatoes. As soon as they get in, I'm hungry, so. But they take sort of 10 minutes to cook, don't they? Yeah. Whereas this is even simpler. What's the fastest thing you usually cook? Or? Uh, well, special K, very easy. But, um, special K, a bowl of cereal, that's pretty quick. Is that quick. a recipe? That's pretty quick, <laughs> and already. You see, our chorizo has released all those oils, mm. okay? And that's going to help flavour our fish. Now, I've got a piece of fish here, it's just a piece of cod. This is a smoked piece of cod. Isn't cod quite expensive usually though? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to get onto, Bad. So this is slightly more, this is about £1.50 to £2 worth of fish. Right. Okay, which as a portion, if you're comparing it to a takeaway or a ready meal, mm -hmm. it's still fairly cheap. We've also got some fantastic fish if you want a cheaper option, like a river cobbler. That was, that's less than a pound, that's 80p a portion. So really, really, really cheap food. So, as I said before, before, couscous is very plain. So you need to put lots of flavour into it. So we're going to do that in the form of some spring onion. Mm -hmm. Now I want the nice green bits here, so I'm just going to get rid of the, the end pieces. You're not conforming with the salad onion term then. Right. So, ah, if you want to be politically <laughs> correct, I suppose, yeah, we're not quite in spring yet, are we? So there we go, with just a few onions, salad onions, mm -hmm. nice and fine. See all those oils that come out of the chorizo. Is it, is it fancy? Well, is it smoky? It's just the smoky, the smoky paprika kind of flavour. Mm. So they're going to go into our couscous. Mm -hmm. Also got a little bit of salt and some pepper. What I'm also going to do, now this chorizo, you see it's yeah. sort of released all those oils and warmed through. That goes into here with all of its oil and that will add loads of flavour. And just kind of leaves the fish in there to carry on cooking. We'll give that a mix up. Yep, give that a nice big stir. Mm -hmm. And our final thing we're going to put in there I'll just reach around you there, Sorry. is some feta cheese. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little chunk of this out of here. It's going to be a stupid question, but where's feta from? It's a sheep's milk. It's made from sheep's milk. Oh, okay. So it's... it's in Greece, but yeah, that's good even. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Origin, yeah, like Greece, and kind of the Mediterranean countries. Mm -hmm. um, crumble it up, cut it up, whatever's easier. There we go. You can mix that all in there as well. Just going to turn our fish over. Now, so we've got cooked on one side. Obviously this is quite a chunky bit of cod, so it's going to take a couple of minutes on either side. So our fish is very nearly cooked there, mm -hmm. and I know, just a second, Raf, you said you were asking a question. How long are you supposed to put it on the pan? How long to cook the fish for? It, it really will depend on the sort of the size of the fish. I mean, for example, something like the river cobbler, it's a lot thinner, so you're only going to need sort of 45 minutes on each side. This cod, slightly longer, two or three minutes on each side, but the key is, if you just push it, it's, it's got like the texture of a marshmallow. Like raw fish is still quite firm. Once you've cooked it, you see it's starting to get a slight spring and you can actually see that it's cooked all the way through. Oh, yeah, please do. <laughs> you see exactly what we meant. <laughs> there we go. So you, you know what I mean though. The difference between yeah, yeah, that, that, uh -huh. that. Yeah, it's bouncy. You've kind of got that, it's a bouncy springiness yeah. to mm -hmm. it. I put a little squeeze of lemon juice on it just to finish it off. And then it's as simple as that. Now, is that it? That's it. That's dinner done. So if we that's place quicker it up, than bees on toast. 
That yeah, is, if you've got, I, if you've got I think that is fish quicker. as well, especially, that would yeah. be uber quick. So we'll put a nice, uber quick. generous uber quick. portion. It's healthy as well. It's healthy, it's cheap, it's mm -hmm. quick. It's no excuse not to be doing this. Do you think you might be giving this one a go? Yeah. Yeah. Liver peas fish. I like, I'm a big fan of goat's cheese. Good. Yeah, you go for the goat's cheese option. So if you do want a really quick, simple, uh, hassle-free dish to do when you're student life, then there it is, surf and turf couscous, sorted.